You are watching We All Be News Radio, News Free Dixie for the 21st Century. I'm Thaddeus Matthews. Time like Chicago radio, we talked about BB King, like the time you had. Yeah, I, I met BB King uh, at WXSS. Uh, he came mm -hmm. through to see Paris Band, and we were getting ready to do what was called the International Blues Festival, which was in Chicago at the Regal Theater on that Friday night. It was going to be here in Memphis. BB was not on the show, but he happened to be in town, and BB King uh, was here. Well, he came by the station to see Purvis because Pur Purvis had been a major. Uh, blues promoter for many years. He was probably the first major blues promoter. Having a radio station in Chicago where you had Lil Milton, you had Tyrone and all those guys living. Uh, you know, so he he kind of manufactured what blues booking was all about and blues promoting was all about. So I did have opportunity to sit and chat with him for a while uh, at the station. Wow. So what was your thoughts about B.B. King as a, as a person then? Well, I mean, at that time, I thought about him like I think about all blues artists. Mm -hmm. You know, you... When you use that word legend, mm -hmm. and that he was, I mean, he, he forepassed most guys in this business on the national front and international front. Mm -hmm. He did something to the blues that most blues artists and recording artists never get the opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. I, I thought of him in the capacity that this is one of the great ones. Mm -hmm. uh, great guitarist, mm -hmm. uh, great singer, and how you tell a guy is great that your songs last forever. When you, right. you know, mm -hmm. thrill is gone and right. things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you go back and you think about the late Albert King. Right. I'll play the blues for you and all, all of those type songs who stay in your mind, stay hits forever. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. But you know, I noticed something that he could never play and sing at the same time. BB King could never play his guitar and sing at the, at the yeah, same time. Yeah, well, most times you know. <laughs> you know I, now that you think about that, you know, now that you said, brother, yeah, yeah, okay. So you think like, well, what is it about? Because you know, there's so many of them. Like you know, Bobby Blue Band passed away. His right, friend, right, just right. A couple years ago. Right. So what makes him out like that? The great one, of the great. What makes you great is, first of all, you're not a one-hit wonder. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. The older guys had longevity because they recorded good music. They recorded mm -hmm. songs with substance. Mm -hmm. Whether it was a song about how much you love a woman or how bad the woman then treats you. Uh, Bobby Blue Bland's, if you're going to walk on my love, then take off, my, take off your shoes. Right. Okay? Songs like that. Songs that have meaning to them that everyday people can say, hey, that that song hits me, that song fits me. That's what makes a legend. Songs like that, uh, Members Only right. by Bobby Blue Bland. Those mm -hmm. type of songs live forever. You get some of the young cats that come along that don't know whether they want to be blues artists or R&B artists. Mm -hmm. uh, they they want to be major R&B, but they haven't been able to hit that genre. Right. So I'm, I'm gonna sing the blues, and I'll I'll make it sound contemporary and in between both of them, and maybe something will hit. But guys like BB uh, King, Tyrone Davis, Bobby Blue Bland, Johnny Taylor, mm -hmm. those guys, Lil Milton, yeah. those guys will live forever as far as airplay is concerned. 